Yo, 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 Shinchi42 here. Today we're going to be talking about the best duos for attacking. Now, there is going to be a lot of stuff in here. We're going to try to do this under 10 minutes, guys. So, this is going to be amazing. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, please do so. Alright guys, let's talk about this. I've got Joan of Arc here. She's one of the commanders that I've invested on. As you guys can see, she has a lot of buff that is going on in this skill. And you can have some amazing healing factor also. So also we have this normal attack damage bonus. I prefer this than the defense actually. If you guys have been using Joan of Arc way back in the older version of Joan of Arc, this is better if you are legit. And you guys are going to be disagreeing with me, I bet, because you guys have been using Joan of Arc just as a gatherer. So I've been using Joan of Arc as a primary commander and it sucks guys. When you have that defense, it sucks because you don't inflict enough damage to win a battle. Now I can obliterate somebody with Joan of Arc because I pair her up with Burika. So Burika has this extra damage that is going on here and you also have a damage here and some disabler stuff that Burika has and the Celtic Blood, which is increases the registration and the healing factor, which they both are going to be healing each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about other commanders, guys. All right, so let's talk about Kosunoki Masashige. This time I got it right. Masashige, because I always keep on saying Masashige. Okay, so he is a fan-shaped AOE commander. You guys already know that because you guys are smart. Okay, so there is some attack here that's going to increase his um, nor additional damage factor, his normal troops, as you guys can see. You guys can read that, right? So this one is a fan-shaped area like Zun 2, as you guys know already. Zun 2 is right here, another fan-shaped area, AOE commander. And also you got Yi Seong-ye. Yi Seong-ye? I think, I think my Korean friend told me it's Yi Seong-ye. All right, so I think that's the right pronunciation. So he is another AOE commander here, very, very, very similar with Zun 2. So if you have these AOE commanders, you're going to be using them when you're battling against a flock of troops. So if there is a multiple troops, that's, I'm calling it flock, there's a flock of troops, you are going to be using this, especially in the massive war. You should be, there should be somebody bringing these AOE commanders. So you got to know your role. And we're going to have a video about knowing your role for the next time. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Hannibal Barca, Julius Caesar, and Scipio Africanus. They're really good commanders. Focus on the leadership and attacker path if you're using them as an attacker in the field. So don't use the conquering path if you are attacking in the field. And use only the conquering path if you're attacking governor cities. So the thing here, they can bring a lot of troops. This is what they're unique for. They can bring a lot of troops in here. And they've got some really good um, attack bonus here for Scipio and healing factor. Also some damage reduction here for uh, his troops is going to reduce the damage taken in counter attack bonus. And then Julius Caesar, he's got some really good um, defense buff in here. And also attack and defense bonus and then an extra defense bonus. So when you look at Hannibal Barca, quite expensive to get. Practically, you're probably not going to get Hannibal Barca unless you're a paid to win player. He's got some really good um, buffs in here, damage reduction, defense reduction, and damage factor here, 400. Not that big, but you're getting a lot out of this skill. And there is more damage um, increases here for um, if you have multiple types of units. All right, so those are the things that we need to talk about. And then another one is UG Mondiok, as he is right here. Uh, he's got some defense reduction, really good complement to somebody that has a lot of attack damage. So with looking at the strike back skill with UG, as you guys can see, there is a damage factor bonus here up to 100%, guys, up to 100%. And um, Herman here, he is more of a nuker, so let's not even talk about this dude. You know, he's all just muscles and everything. Um, all right, so, um, okay, let's not forget Tao Tao. He is one of the really good commander here, but I'm using him as a full cavalry unit, and we're going to be talking about that in the next video. So you can use Tao Tao also, very versatile commander um, for attacking. So he's got some really good healing factor and rage restoration as well. Minamoto, another good commander, but I'm using him as a full cavalry, and we're going to talk about that in the next video. So make sure to tune in for that one. So to summarize this, I think one of the best 
duos in this game in my opinion and it may be different in your opinion it depends really at the end who you've invested on and what are the skill sets of your commanders so this is just more of a guide for you guys to decide to help you guys you know whatever but my opinion is i think it's burika and um yoji mandyak who is going to be the best pvp in the field battling so he's going to be reducing the de defense reduction. This is going to be in the epic commander level, okay? So he's going to be reduce the defense, the defense of the enemy, and then he's got really good chance of increasing his attack. So once the defense is low, and then you attack with higher damage bonus here, plus you know you, you can also um, where is that right here? Increase the damage bonus also with Burika. plus. They can both tank pretty well with this um, attack reduction from the enemy. Personally, right now, I use Joan of Arc and Burika. They work very well also. For, in it. So right at this current situation that I have, they are my best duos and they've worked out very well. So I hope you guys like this video. There is a lot of ways to do some combination with the commanders here, but these are my opinion that I think is the best for my situation right now. So guys... Make sure to do a lot of testing, do a lot of trial and error, because that's the only way that you guys can figure out what is the best commander duos for you. And um, Herman here, we've got another Herman. Uh, we got an, another Herman, what do you mean? Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your opinion and make sure don't forget to like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely see you guys in the next video.